Hey, what is up YouTube? And like I said in my last video, it was a huge day for Apple. They not only came out with the iPhone X, the iPhone 8, the iPhone 8 Plus, but the Apple Watch Series 3 as well as a 4K Apple TV. Along the lines of software, however, we also have a huge update. Apple also seeded today the beta Golden Master version of iOS 11. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install that onto your iDevice entirely for free without a developer account. <laughs> Now, iOS 11 isn't scheduled to be released to the public until next Tuesday on the 15th. But, like I said, you can go ahead and install the Golden Master version, which is basically the final version of iOS 11 today entirely for free. Now, that being said, however, we could receive another Golden Master version of iOS 11 before the final release date. So, it is unclear at the time if you will need to update your device at all when iOS is released to the public next Tuesday. If this is the final Golden Master release, it is looking likely that you will, in fact, not have to do an update when the final version comes out. So like I've said in my previous videos, I will have a link down in the description to the configuration profile in order for you to see iOS 11 beta updates. Again today, if you're already on iOS 11, you can easily hit the settings app, navigate to general, and then navigate to software update, and then the iOS update will be waiting there for you. Today's update is massive though guys, it's a 2.04 gigabyte update coming from iOS 11 beta 10. And this is on an iPhone 6s plus, it may be different for various devices, but that is just a massive update in general considering beta 9 and beta 10 only had 40 to 50 MB updates coming from the previous betas. Anyway, if you're on iOS 11, like I'm saying, all you have to do is go ahead and click this download and install button right here. I'll go ahead and do that on this device. Go ahead and enter your passcode if you have one. The last thing you need to do before beginning the installation is go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions. And once you're done with that step, the download will begin. Once it says update requested, it will be processing your download request and the download should begin momentarily. But just remember today, the download might take a little extra longer because of how many people watch the event and how many people are rushing to go download the Golden Master version of iOS 11 and try it out for themselves. Anyway, for the two gigabyte update on my iPhone 6s Plus, it looks like it's only gonna take around seven minutes to complete the download, so I'll be right back once it's done downloading. Anyway, in the meantime, if you're not on an iOS 11 beta already, if you're on something like iOS 10.2, like I am on this iPhone 6, then I can go ahead and show you how to get the installation process started for yourself. The only step required is to download the developer configuration profile in order to see iOS 11 beta updates within the software update tab. So, like I said, I'm just going to show you guys that my device currently is on iOS 10.2. If I go to about, you can see here that the version is iOS 10.2. Anyway, if I go back and check for a software update, the only update pending for me is the iOS 10.3.3 update, which I definitely don't want to install. As you guys can see, this iPhone is jailbroken, and I don't want to lose my jailbreak. And for that point, I'm just going to show you guys how to install the developer configuration profile and not actually install iOS 11 on this device. But anyway, this is the point in the video where you're going to go ahead and open up the link in the video's description. Now, for demonstration purposes, I just went ahead and sent myself the link so I don't have to go into the YouTube app. But just as a fair warning, when you open up this link, you have to open it up within Safari and not within the YouTube app redirect. And also, since this file was uploaded on Google Drive, you're going to have to uninstall the Google Drive app. Otherwise, it's just going to send you to that instead of to Safari. Anyway, once you guys go ahead and pull this link up in Safari, you'll see that all it is is a download button. If you go ahead and click the download button here, it will redirect you to the file itself. And I know it's kind of hard to see here, guys, but it's prompting you to choose which device you'd like to install the profile on. For this video, we're just gonna go ahead and select iPhone. Now, all you have to do in the top right, just click the install button, click install, and click install once more. Now it's gonna request you to restart your device in order to enable the developer configuration profile. If you don't do the step right now, then you still won't see iOS 11 beta software updates. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart my phone and I will be right back. While my phones were starting, I just want to say there's a huge description of what iOS 11 brings to the iPhone as well as the iPad, and it's a bigger description than we've ever received for any other beta. That being said, however, this kind of seems like a general tagline for iOS 11. It really doesn't specify any changes between iOS 11 beta 10 and this version. Anyway guys, now that my phone has restarted, I'm just going to go ahead and pull up the home screen. Now if we navigate to the settings app, navigate to general, and navigate to software update, we will see that we have an iOS 11 Golden Master update pending for us. So there it is, guys. Once it's refreshed, we can see that we have the iOS 11 update waiting for us. And ironically, this update from iOS 10 seems to be smaller than the one coming from iOS 11 beta 10. I'm not exactly sure why that is. It might also be because this is an iPhone 6 and that's an iPhone 6s Plus. 
But regardless, we are at the installation screen. Now to proceed, all you gotta do is hit download and install, just as a fair warning. If you don't have Wi-Fi enabled, it will not let you install the update. So before you begin, you must enable Wi-Fi in order to install this update. And once Wi-Fi is enabled and it registers that, the download install button will turn blue and you are ready to go. Again, like I said, I'm not actually going to install iOS 11 on this device because it is jailbroken. Anyway, that seems to be all that we can do right now while we're waiting for this guy to download. But once it's done downloading, I will be right back. So now that the update has finished, you can see that the update requires at least 50% battery or to be connected to a power source. So I'm going to go grab a lightning cable and I will be right back. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead and trust your computer. That's always a good thing to do. But once that screen has gone away, we can go ahead and click install now, now that we are connected to a power source. Once we click install, the update will go ahead and go through a quick verifying process. This will verify the integrity of the update before it begins the installation. Once this is done, however, the installation will go ahead and begin automatically. Once your device has rebooted, you'll go ahead and see an Apple logo with a progress bar and you'll know the update is on its way. And don't worry guys, your iPhone will restart a couple times through this update process, but that is completely normal. From here, I'm going to go ahead and let this update complete, but I'll be right back once it has finished. Alright, so now that the update has finished, we can go ahead and click the home button to wake the device and to finish setting up iOS 11. Once we press the home button, it will take us to this page, notifying us that our iPhone has successfully been updated to iOS 11 and to the latest build of iOS 11 being the Golden Master. From here, we can go ahead and click continue and it will take us to the terms and conditions page once more. We can go ahead and click agree and then click agree to the notification box that comes up. And lastly, it will take us to this page that says welcome to iPhone and get started. If we go ahead and click get started, it will take us to the home screen after we enter enter our password. And as you can see, I already had one of the new iOS 11 backgrounds enabled, but if you want to get one for yourself, you can head to the settings app, navigate to wallpaper, choose a new wallpaper, and then navigate to stills. And as you can see here, guys, we have a bunch of new wallpapers present in the Golden Master version of iOS 11. Comparing this official GM build to the one that was leaked just a few days ago, it looks like we have the earth wallpaper still present, we have the default wallpapers, we have the new flower wallpapers, and then we have the new retro wallpapers. Unfortunately, it looks like Apple admitted the abstract wallpapers and interestingly enough I have this black blank wallpaper right here I'm not sure if that's a glitch or not but anyway those seem to be the new wallpapers within iOS 11 again like I've been saying this whole video we could be seeing yet another GM build potentially before its release next Tuesday which may or may not include the abstract wallpapers that are missing in this version anyway the last thing I wanted to do in this video is to go ahead and verify our build number to just ensure that we have updated to the latest version of iOS 11 being this golden master version so if I head back out of wallpapers and navigate to general, about, you can check the version and in parentheses will be the build number. Today's build number is 15A372, which is a relatively short number, which is signifying that we are getting closer to the final build of iOS 11. Anyway guys, as of recording this video, I've really yet to play around with the Golden Master version of iOS 11 to really notice any substantial changes other than the addition of the new wallpapers. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of the Golden Master version of iOS 11 or iOS 11 in general, and let me know if you guys find any major changes between this version and Beta 10. Lastly, I just want to show you guys what Apple's developer portal page looks like. Today, we not only received the Golden Master version of iOS 11, but also watchOS 4 and tvOS 11. Oddly enough, they did not release the Golden Master version of macOS High Sierra. As you can see, the latest beta for that came out on September 1st. But again, this video in particular is about the Golden Master version of iOS 11. The build number one more time is 15A372. And again, it came out today on September 12th, along with the iPhone X, the iPhone 8, the iPhone 8 Plus, the Apple Watch Series 3, and the 4K Apple TV, along with a bunch of new software to coincide with these amazing new products. Anyway, guys, I think that pretty much wraps up this video. I think that covers everything on how to get the iOS 11 Golden Master version onto your iDevice entirely for free without a registered developer account and entirely on device. So anyway guys, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, don't forget to drop this video a like and leave a comment down in the comment section. If you get stuck any way along the process, I'll be happy to help and reply to you as soon as I possibly can. Also, if you haven't seen it yet, don't forget to check out my iPhone X video, which goes into depth about all the details that Apple announced about the upcoming device. Also stay tuned as I'll be releasing multiple videos this week about all the things that happened at this year's Apple event and also what is likely to come before the iPhone 8 is released. And just as a heads up, in roughly 10 days, Apple will begin pre-orders on the iPhone 8, the Apple Watch Series 3, as well as the 4K 
Apple TV. I'll be releasing an update video before that date happens, but I just want to let you guys know ahead of time. The iPhone 8 is scheduled to come out this year on September 22nd, but the iPhone X will not be launching until later this November. Anyway guys, like I said, stay tuned and please subscribe to stay fully updated on when I release a video just like this one. I hope you guys have a great time exploring the Golden Master version of iOS 11, and until next time, this is Tony, signing out.